Is the TT Artisan 23mm 1.4 lens a dream come true? Or are you better spending that 100 bucks on half a tank of gas? Today we're gonna find out. The TT Artisan 23mm f1.4 lens is a manual lens that has no electronics and no autofocus. So using it requires that you either shoot completely manually or in aperture priority. Using this lens will immediately transport you back to the good old days when your feet didn't hurt every morning for no particular reason and you didn't say things like, those darn millennials! When paired with a Fuji retro looking camera, you will be in nostalgia heaven before long. For those of you who didn't grow up using a manual SLR and developing your own film, you can experience your own sort of nostalgia too, but sort of in a Brooklyn hipster kind of way. The lens comes in a very nice little box, which is well made. The lens does include a front and a rear lens cap, and the front lens cap has to be without doubt the worst design i've ever seen it's even worse than a screw thread lens cap because at least those don't fall off on their own in the middle of a day shooting with the camera cap just sort of slides over the top of the lens and before day one was over i had already lost it that's why you're not seeing it in this review so apologies for that but it is a truly horrific design that should immediately and forever be changed the lens itself, however, is extremely well made and feels like one of those old school third party lenses that were available back in the heyday of 35 millimeter cameras. Mount is metal, the barrel is metal, the focusing ring is metal, and the only thing that feels like plastic is the aperture ring, but even then it's really hard to tell. For a hundred bucks, you're getting a super solid little lens that looks like it can take a ton of abuse if you so desire to abuse it, don't abuse it. The handling is equally excellent as the focusing ring is smooth and offers just the right amount of resistance needed for ease in focusing manually. The aperture ring is almost as nice as the focusing ring, although I personally wish it had a stronger click in between f-stops. It does click to be sure, but the click is a bit too smooth for my liking and it feels like there's maybe a little too much grease in the gears or something. I would prefer if it locked tightly into each position, but this is a minor criticism as overall it handles very well and it harkens back to an old Rokinon lens I would have used on my Canon A1 or my Minolta SRT 101. Let's be honest, if you are a Fuji fan person, Aesthetics are super important to you. You most definitely own and use a record player on the regular. And I'm willing to bet that there's an Olivetti Lexicon 80 sitting on your desk because your poetry needs to be expressed in the purest way possible by using an antiquated piece of office equipment, but I digress. The aesthetics of the TT Artisan 23 millimeter fit perfectly with my X-T4 and my X-Pro1. The lens makes a compact and fashionable addition to the camera and it's perfect for carrying around. Whether you're doing street photography, out for a day with your family, or you're just looking for an accessory that tells random passers-by, I'm more cultured than you. At one point during my first day out with the camera and this lens, I literally had the thought, look at me. I really am the cool dad. I'm the musician, artsy, cultured photographer dad. Not like that loser over there in his sports jersey. It's sort of like carrying a Leica around, but for poor people. In a typical review, I would call the image quality the heart of the matter. The most important part of a lens purchase. But to be completely honest, I didn't expect the image quality to be amazing when I picked up this lens and going into it with those mitigated expectations, I was very pleased, especially since the user experience is so great. But wide open is where this lens has the most trouble. Now this is probably in part due to me not being able to nail the focus, but in every portrait I shot with this lens, it looks slightly soft. And soft might not be the right word. I would describe it as sort of a hazy look, which actually is kind of cool in its own right. But if you are one of those people obsessed with shooting wide open and everything looking tack sharp, even when zoomed in at like a thousand percent, 
you're probably not going to be happy with this lens wide open. Another issue with shooting the lens wide open is that there was quite a bit of vignetting. As you stop down the lens though, these issues become less noticeable and the resulting images are very sharp and have excellent color. Once you get to f16 though, the vignetting is back with a vengeance. So it seems to me like the sweet spot is somewhere around f4, f5.6. But keep in mind that I'm not one of those crazy chart tester types of people. And I just use my eye and zooming in to check the sharpness on my computer. So it's a very informal way of checking the actual quality of the lens. One weird thing that I found was that when I put my camera in Acros black and white, my favorite mode, the images sort of looked flat, no matter the aperture. And the rich blacks I was used to with my Fuji lenses just weren't there. I shot a few photos in this mode, but then I changed it back to Eterna or to the standard film simulation because I wasn't so pleased. Keep in mind that all the images you're seeing in this review are straight out of my camera with no editing, which is really the only way I want to use this particular lens. And even though I can obviously tweak the images after the fact, I'd rather not have to do that for say a random lighthouse picture or some family photos at the beach. Again, if you're expecting Fujifilm lens quality from this lens, you're not going to be happy. But one thing I will say is that you are going to get images that are excellent, fun, and pleasing. And if you're using this as a hobbyist or for family photos, I think you're going to be very, very happy with the quality. If I had to rate the quality from one to 10, I'd give it probably around an eight. It's very good, especially for the small amount of money you're going to spend on this lens. So Although I'm kind of critical in what I've been saying about the lens quality, keep in mind that I am actually very happy from the results I'm getting with this lens. On an APS-C camera, this lens is roughly a 35 millimeter equivalent focal length, which I really find to be the best overall focal length for those of us who like having a camera strapped to our hip on the daily. After about two minutes of use, I was totally comfortable manually focusing, due in part to the excellent design of the lens. The real question becomes, is this lens worth a hundred bucks? And I would answer yes, most definitely yes it is. Within the first day of shooting with this lens, I got a bunch of excellent images that my family and I will treasure forever. The next day I used this lens at my son's Little League trophy ceremony. And again, I found it to be really good easy to use and a lot of fun to use too. So think of it this way. In the time that you've been watching this review, your wife has already spent over a hundred dollars on Amazon. And this lens is going to last a lot longer than those jumbo bags of spelt flour and organic coconut sugar. So my advice is go for it. Take the plunge. Be the cool dad. Walk around proudly with your retro Fuji camera and this lens hanging from your neck. Show all the other dads around you that even though you don't know the starting lineup of the Mets this year, you've got a sweet Gibson ES-335 hanging on your wall and one day you're gonna learn to play it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and this review and thank you for watching as always. Now, many of you are lurkers who still haven't hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and hit that button today. Each subscription represents a tiny dopamine hit that spurs me on to create the next video. Don't forget to gently tap that like button, stop with all the smashing and leave me a comment and I will see you in the next video. Take some awesome pictures today and I will see you soon. Bye for now.